Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Finally, it's there, the anniversary update. The biggest update everyone has been looking forward to. We'll kick it off with the first tall tale you need to complete to be able to unlock all the other ones. We'll try to guide you completely through the first one. So here we go. The first tall tale is called the Shroud Breaker. You can start the tale by visiting the mysterious stranger. You can find him on any outpost in the taverns. Next to him you'll see a barrel with a book on it. You'll start the tall tale by pressing vote for tall tale. We won't show you the whole story he tells, that's still for you to find out. So the mysterious stranger starts telling the tale and at that moment you'll also receive the first tall tale book. You can browse through the book to read the story and start looking for clues. Also keep in mind that all the tall tales aren't always on the same islands. So you might have to search on other islands than the one we'll show you in this video. But don't worry, we'll show you all the different variations of this tall tale. First you have to sail to N13 on the map and find the last ship of the Pirate Lord, the Magpie's Wing. There you need to search the ship logs. You can find them at the back of the ship in the captain's quarters. These ship logs are always found at this place. Then you need to read the ship logs to find the chest with the totem in it. A good tactic to find the chest easily is by reading the ship log very well. Like they say in the ship log they first anchored on the south side of Thieves Haven. There you put a marker like shown in the video. Then they were fleeing to the northeast passing small shallow isles. Mutineers rock as you can see. So you mark that too. Then rounding a fortified island, so that's a crow's nest fortress. And from there they headed west by southwest and threw the chest overboard. So in this case you'll find the chest at the northeast of Cutlass Cay in the water. Just keep in mind you'll get different variations. Just follow this tactic and you'll find the chest easily. Once you've found the chest, you'll need to open it and you'll receive new pages and a totem. For us this was a scarab totem. But you can also have the crab, shark or boar totem. If you don't know on which island you need to bring the totem, you can see it on this page of the book. You'll see a couple of islands within the middle a bigger island. It's always the island in the center of the small islands you'll need to bring the totem to. But like always, we've got this covered. The boar totem needs to be brought to the northeast beach of Devil's Ridge near some boar paintings. The shark totem needs to be brought to Kraken's Fall near a big pond close to the single fish painting. The receptacle is at the right of it. The crab totem can be found in N13 on the map inside the underwater cave. But we received the scarab totem. And this one you'll need to bring to Crook's Hollow inside the cave near the waterfall. There you'll see a rock with the drawing of a scarab on it. Once you place the totem on the receptacle, the puzzle room will open. When you enter the room, you'll see an altar. If you light the four fires, the room will close and water will start coming in the room and you'll need to solve the puzzle. You can solve the puzzle with the last page in the book. You have to match the symbols on the pillars like shown in the book. Every time you made a combination, you need to go to the altar and press solve puzzle and you need to continue this until you have them all. After the last combination the door will open again and you'll need to find 3 medallions. To know where to find them you need to take a look at the altar and there they will show you a picture where you can dig up the first one. Once you've collected it you'll put it in the altar and the next picture will show up. You'll have to continue this until you've found all 3 medallions. Then a secret door will open in the puzzle room where you'll find the Shroud Breaker statue. 
You need to collect it and return it to the mysterious stranger in any outpost you like. He will tell the rest of the tale and you'll get the commendation for completing this tall tale. If you'd like to get all the commendations, you'll also need to collect all the journals. The journals for this tale can be found at N13 at the northwest of the island near the rocks. The second book can be found at Ancient Spire on opposite peak of the tavern inside the cave. The third book lies on Devil's Ridge next to the cannon on the north side of the island. The fourth book can be found on the middle of Thieves Haven on the opposite side of the shipwreck in an open crate. And the fifth and final journal can be found next to the campfire close to the gold hoarder on Plunder Outpost. So this was our guide for the Shroud Breaker. We'll be covering every tale, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give us a like. Thanks for watching and see you next time! Shiver me timbers! Arr. Fast, you scary.